Hi, this is Brooks with Character Design Forge. At the heart of every story is some amount of conflict. Without conflict, you just have Animal Crossing. And Animal Crossing isn't a story. Animal Crossing isn't a story. The best way to manage conflict in stories is to create some differences between your characters. So if you have some idea or theme that's central to your story, assigning a character or a group of characters to be the mouthpiece for each opposing side of that issue or idea is a good way to create conflict. This becomes fairly easy to do when your characters are opposing or enemies of each other. You're not going to see my way and I'm not going to see your way. And in stories that involve action, this inevitability arises and the characters just start beating each other up, which is no way to resolve things. But you might be asking yourself, what makes for interesting friendships between characters? What causes an audience to believe that these characters uh, care about each other, that they get along, that they're out for each other's best interests, without becoming just cardboard cutouts or completely codependent? Well, the answer is simple. Really, at the beginning of your story, just put your two characters in an elevator and have them stiffly recount their adventures together. In reality, the biggest thing to understand is that making two characters friends does not mean turning them into the same person. So a believable friendship in fiction doesn't involve them agreeing on everything. Rather, it means that they care about one another despite having some disagreements. Like we said, stories require conflict. And while the main conflict isn't usually between two friends, having some amount of friction or discord between these two characters and the way that they respond to it is a good way to create some interest. A good friendship, especially in fiction, needs a few things. A common interest or interests, honesty, trust, communication, a surmounting of difficulties, and a care or love for each other. And if you plan on one or both of your characters lacking or having a dip in any of these qualities at a certain point throughout your story, which you should if you're looking to introduce conflict, make sure that these things have lasting consequences. For example, a lack of common interests could tear your characters apart. They could take uh, opposing sides in some larger conflict. And so even though they still have those things uh, that do make for a good friendship, they still do care for each other, this obviously creates some tension and distance between them. A lie told between friends, especially early on in the story, should have a lasting effect. And having one character realize uh, that it was a lie or the other one fessing up, uh, that reaction that they have, what plays out then, is a valuable opportunity for you as a storyteller to show what their friendship is really like, to really test the quality of it. And how many times have you screamed at two characters, at least internally, to just talk it out, to resolve this misunderstanding or miscommunication that's between them? That's something that the storyteller is inserting there to add some interest and some stakes to really draw you in. Another point, because we all love seeing an amount of camaraderie between friends, there's this triumph of seeing believable friends succeed together. But in order for it to be interesting, there needs to be an arc or a change in their friendship, even if it's just a little dip at some point. Otherwise, your characters at the beginning of the story are friends, in the middle, they're still friends, and at the end, they're still friends. This isn't necessarily a bad thing in every circumstance, but it could prove to be pretty static. A couple of examples of good friendships in stories, Han and Chewie. So there's this back and forth between the two characters, a bickering that we really enjoy, but ultimately we know that their friendship is based on this absolute trust of each other. And of course, there's this forthcoming movie that's supposed to be an origin story for Han and maybe uh, shows some of their early friendship. But even without that, we have this understanding based on what we see already. Mike and Sully wouldn't have nothing if they didn't have each other. Um, so if you look at Monsters, Inc. Uh, without its prequel, uh, Monsters University, you see that they start in a place of harmony, this good friendship. Uh, then there's an introduction of a conflict of interests, some dishonesty, um, but ultimately that friendship resolves at the end. And then Monsters University, it's almost the reverse of that. They start out in a place where they're butting heads, but they slowly grow toward a place that we see them at the start of the first film. Neil, Sam, and Bill from Freaks and Geeks, these are geeks who are coming together with uh, common interests, and they're kind of going through high school life and these difficulties together. And while there are some arguments for sure, um, there's this kind of almost knighthood bond between them. And another troupe of 80s kids uh, are very similar, uh, Eleven, Mike, Will, Dustin, and Lucas. 
I got them all. Nice. Leslie Nope and Ann Perkins have this almost ideal friendship that works well um, in a universe that's kind of based on meritocracy and optimism. And there are these strong differences, especially in personality between the two of them, but they're constantly ready uh, and quick to reassure each other, especially with words of affirmation. Finn and Jake are adoptive brothers, and they have this loyalty for each other, but I think what's especially notable is their respect for each other. So if they have a difference between the two of them, they usually don't allow it to affect uh, their view of one another. Instead, they have this you do you, I'll do me kind of understanding, but ultimately it's a really strong basis of respect. So in creating your character's friendships, instead of trying to immediately cut them from the same cloth, instead look to definitely introduce a difference in personality as well as some conflict. When you're in doubt or you're wondering if something will come across as realistic or not, uh, try and look at some inspiration from your own life, your own friendships. Uh, look at both the similarities you have with friends, but also the differences. Hopefully this has gotten you thinking in the right direction. It's been a while since I did a video on uh, pure storytelling with characters, but I know it's something a lot of you guys are interested in, so I'm glad to have touched on it. That's it for me today. I'm making new videos every week at Character Design Forge. Subscribing on YouTube lets you know when new videos are made available. If this or any of my videos have been entertaining or educational for you, please consider backing me on Patreon at patreon.com slash bageldenizen. That helps me out a ton. It helps me to make more videos at a better quality. Uh, my course Learn Character Design is a comprehensive character design curriculum. Head over to learncharacterdesign.com to find out more about that. Thank you for watching, and have fun creating.